Hi everyone, welcome back to Gold Fries and in this video we'll be looking at this which is the Deep Cool LS720 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler. Now if you remember, I reviewed the LT720 and this is the LS720. They are pretty much the, the same thing in the sense that the radiator is the same and the internals of the pump is the same but the rest is rather different. So in this video, I'll, I won't be repeating what I've mentioned on the LT720. However, I'll go through the things that are different. Now with that done, let's start with the price. The price over in Malaysia is about RM70 apart. The LS720 retails at about RM600, while the LT720 retails at about RM530-ish. Of course, this price may change depending on the stock and when it's coming in, you know, due to the exchange rate in your country, the difference is probably 15 to 20 US. So do check it out, there's a price difference. So why does the LS720 command a bit of a higher price? Well, it's definitely not the performance because when I test it out, the pump is the same, the radiator same, but the difference is in the fan of which the LS720 is slightly behind the LT720 when it comes to performance. Just a little bit though, on productivity workload, you see that it's 2 degrees Celsius warmer in gaming workload than it's 1 degrees warmer. So basically, it is safe to say they are identical or if you don't like the word identical, let's go with the word similar, okay? So, what makes it different? Well, let's start with the CPU on this um, block area, the design, the LT790 it's fixed. So uh, you have a fixed, I'll say, when you place it in the intended way, which is pump at the bottom, you get the deep cool logo at the intended, at the correct orientation. However, if you change the pump to in the different direction, then the logo will not be in the intended original alignment. So that's pretty much it for the LT720, but for the LS, the AIO here, you can actually go with any orientation and you can twist this uh, um, this cap around to, uh, to just align the logo and such. It's a very nice looking ARGB LED um, backlit um, cooler design. I have it connected to a system over here and it's actually powering it up but I'm not powering the fan because it uh, is running loud so yeah. Another unique thing about this is that this part can be removed and Deep Cool uh, did provide a spare panel of which you can custom design your own sticker and place it. It's a, it's a, it's a how you say, it's a unique idea and it does um, add on to the personalization part, which is very nice. I think this is a great touch. I'm not a fan of RGB LED um, covers as such, but seeing that it allows room for creativity, design, personalization, I think it's something worth considering if you are uh, some, you would like to customize, but you are not um, intending to spend more on those with digital screens, you know, those that you can place, place with graphics and such. Yeah, this is a pretty nice option. Now, the second thing being different is how the, it's the fan itself. It's not just being an RGB fan. In fact, the whole thing, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of wires here, actually. What it does is that the fan for the LS720 is not your usual single fan with a um, uh, 4-pin PWM or 3-pin that connects to the typical uh, fan connector and then another separate cable for the ARGB. Some some brands, their fans have um, the power connector which you connect to the splitters and then they are able to daisy chain the ARGB cable. For deep cool, these fans, they are using a proprietary, a proprietary pardon me for being tongue type proprietary cable of which you are able to, over here, you can daisy chain one to another and then I can actually, um, it's actually connected to the, the power on the power supply which is the SATA power 
So I can do a quick demo where I place this one, uh, I just connect this one and I have it over here, power on and it and you can hear the sound, it's loud and then it's lit. So alright, I'm going to disconnect this. It daisy chains, it has, I mean this cable itself, it connects to SATA and then it has ARGB for your um, control from the motherboard and has PWM, this uh, power connection for your other for your speed control and reading and such so yeah uh, the downside of this LS720 uh, it will be the fan itself as well and the pump the pump you can connect it to the CPU pump power but for the fans right they can only be powered by the proprietary cable of which like what I show you just now connect it to that one it powers on but there's no other way to power this. It seems like um, basically you need the right connector for this you know, to just get this up and running. But overall, overall, um, while I may not be, I mean, while I do not like having proprietary cables, I do appreciate the work that Deepcool put in to make it daisy chainable. So this helps a lot when it comes to cable management. And as long as you don't lose the, the uh, supply cables and all that, it's actually a nice AIO, especially if you're looking for ARGB. And I like that the ARGB, right? Because some of some fans, you see that the, the let's say you have a rainbow setting and it's changing color. Some fans, the low quality ones, you see how, how jerky is the word, I guess. It skips or in other words because it skips frames but this is not the case for the the lights over here which you can see it I actually have a b-roll footage you should have, have a look at this it's very smooth flowing which I like very much overall I'd say the LS722 great AIO However, if you're like me, who does not fancy so much on the this uh, RGB lighting, then you could opt for the LT720. The LT720 will cost less and you don't have to worry about the RGB and those fans. They come with the usual pin, uh, the connection to the 4-pin power. So, yep, either way, you can't go wrong. Both are the, the LS720 and the LT720 are great products from Deep Cool. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And bye bye.